Y'all, I had to come on and show you this. I don't know if you already know or not, but anyway, my name is Barbara and I'm from Inspired Paper and Designs and I wanted to show y'all something real quick. So right here, I have a, just a plain um, document size eight and a half by 11. So whenever I make um, notebooks or journals or planners, I always use the ruler feature, right? So if you go over here to file and then you go down to settings, you can go over to where it says show rulers and guides and then if you see you see the rulers right here and then you can see it right up top right peep this so I was playing around with it and this may have always been there um, but I just learned about it today so I wanted to share it with you I always put um, on my file on my um, documents I always put a half inch border around the side but I usually just like drag over where is it at? So I look like, like I go up here to the ruler and I'll pull it down and see how you see it moving. Or I come over to the side and I just go over. It's like when I drag my mouse over, it automatically turns to the arrows and I can drag it over. And I always make it to the side. I mean, make it one point. I'm sorry, make it point five. I make it a half inch border all the way around because when you do like the books and stuff, like with Lulu or Amazon KDP, they always want like a border. So if you go to file and go down to settings, and like I said, this blew my mind. It may have always been there. I never paid attention. If you go to, where is it at? It just disappeared. Add guides, right? And then it gives you options on what to add. And if you look like this says it's highlighted on 12, see how it made 12 guidelines on here or broke it off into 12 columns? Check this out. If you go to, where is it at? Right here where it says custom. You can make custom, right? So it would be, let me see, if I did it right, it would be one column. It would be one row. Over here, the gap, you could make the gap. And if I'm not mistaken, the gap would be like the inside where the where the um, pages would like be. Um, that's where the binding would be for the pages. That would be the gap, if I'm not mistaken. But I just put it on zero just because I don't really use that. Change the margin to 0.5, right? And then hit add guides, peep this, guides added and locked. So the guides are here and it's locked. So now I don't have to try to maneuver, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I don't have to maneuver like I've been doing, like the guidelines automatically appear. So you can always do that. So like I said, for me, I like to have um, half inch border all the way around. So now when I do it, and I'm going to make it smaller, now I know that as long as I stay within here, it's definitely going to be a half inch border all the way around. I don't know if you knew that. I just found it out. Wanted to share it. Check me out on my YouTube video. Feel free to comment below. Did you already know this feature existed? Tell your girl. I'm very excited. Can't wait to make some notebooks and journals. Talk to you guys later. All right. Be blessed.